what's up boys welcome back to another episode of hut roulette and today we're going to be trying to continue our streak uh right now we are on a 10 game win streak trying to bring it up to 11 and last episode we did pick up eric carlson who's now on the second line as well as the t purple tyler Tafoli, which i've never tried out before but i'm looking forward to trying him out for the first time anyways that is just about it for this intro i want to get right into a couple games here let's start it one up all right, so we found ourselves at a Detroit opponent. He's got Anze Kopitar, Phil Kessel, and Zach Parise on his first line. So we win the faceoff. Let's get this game going. Brian Boyle, just slot one. Oh, right off, right off to Philpila. Back down to Carlson. Okay, don't pass it to Carlson. To Wilson, right there. That's a goal. That's a guaranteed goal every single time. Valtteri Philpila makes no mistake. One to nothing. Boyle, quick pass. Oh, Petrangelo, shoot it! Yes! What a shot! A howitzer from the point, and Petrangelo makes it 2 to nothing. Oh, what deeks! What deeks! Oh, what a... Wow, he did a perfect dive. Gotta give him props for that one. Just get on net. Oh! Wilson! The Wilson! The penalty kill master almost scores a goal. Go! Another break! We're not going to let him through. We're not going to let him through. We're not going to let him through! I... No! And I get a penalty too. That's bogus. Oh, nice save, Pecorini. Come on, that's going over. Over! Come on, pass it up! Oh, another break! Another break for it! That's got to be a penalty. Yes! Shoot on net. Come on, get that out of here. Alright, double backhand. No more glitch goals. Come on. Go, Hemski. Go! Hemski, what? <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that, but Hemski rifles it top shelf. Still, it worked out. Oh, nice hit, Boyle. Nice hit. Oh, I thought I could just slap it on there, but no goal. Oh, we still got a chance here. Seabrook, back to Carlson. Shoot. Oh, Ryan O'Reilly almost picks it up, though. Oh, beautiful save, Pecorine. Come on, he's going for those cross creasers like crazy, but we're not letting him get it. Come on, don't let him into the zone. He's going to come on to the left side. Yep, 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 come on. Don't let him, don't let him. Oh, what? No! Who is that, Yari Curry? Yari Curry scores him a goal and makes it 3-1. to one. I thought Pecorine made the save, but I played some pretty bad defense on that one. Oh, we're getting across. Pass it to Boyle. Oh, he's got a delay penalty, though. Get in there, Boyle. Get in there. Let's see what we can do. Shoot. Sharp. Yes. He, we do score a goal. I think he's going to quit on that play. 16 to 6 in shots. Let's see if he does back out. No, he doesn't back out. All right. We'll keep it going here, but it, we just made it 4 to 1 with Patrick Sharp. Oh, Hemski. Hamski, oh, that's too dirty. What? What a save by Mark Andre Fleury. I guess that's why people have him in net or something. Uh, come on, good defensive play. Go, go, go. Uh, 45 degree cut. 45, 45. Ryan McDonough. No, he goes in for the flying poke check again. He does get it. Oh, beautiful play. No, you're not getting me this time. You're not getting me this time. There is Braden Shen. I know he's going to go for the flying poker, but you know what? I'll just get around him if he does that. Oh, Boyle. The spinorama. What a goal. No way. Did you guys see that? The spinorama, and I still got the goal. I want to see a replay of that one. Brian Boyle, spinorama, off the stick, and still scores a goal. That is the definition of a second effort. Jesus. That's why I like Boyle. Alright, we're just going to burn off the rest of the clock. I'm not going to score any more goals than him. Seems like he's already rage quitting a little bit. But, anyways, that is going to be the end of this game. And we did come out with 11 game win streak. That's absolutely insane. But, let's take a look at the stats here before we get into buying the player. 21 to 10 in shots, 8 minutes, time on attack to 6. 
Uh, definitely got a couple lucky goals, but we did outplay him just a little bit. Eight breakaways. You're going to lose a game <laughs> if you let give me eight breakaways in a game. But anyways, we're going to choose that player and raise that buy now minimum all the way to 11k. Alright, so we're at the Browse Auctions page. Jesus, guys. 11 game win streak. Hopefully get something good on this one. I mean, we're filtering out a lot of players on this one. But we're going to be choosing the 21st player here. So let's see what we get. Come on, something good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Phil the Thrill Kessel is going to be our next pickup. I'm actually pretty excited to use him because I use him a lot in my regular hut teams, but we'll throw him into the team, see where he fits in. Alright, so we made a couple adjustments to the team, and uh, I had to change it up by quite a bit because we have to move around some players with Phil Kessel coming onto the team, and is now our highest overall player, I think, other than Petrangelo and Pecorini on the defense, but in terms of offense, 90 overall pickup is pretty good. Anyways, we have him playing alongside with Ryan O'Reilly, I decided that, you know what, Phil Kessel is better on the left wing for me anyways, and uh, Brian O'Reilly might be playing better on the right wing with Brian Boyle on the same line. And I also moved down Patrick Sharp down, taking out Hemschke. And the only reason why I had Hemschke in the lineup was because it had perfect chemistry. But I think it was time to break it up, move Patrick Sharp to the second line, and see if I can spark some life into the second line because they haven't really scored me too many goals. Anyways, we're starting into the second game here. Let's see how we do. Alright, so we're starting up this next game. He's got Vladimir Tarasenko Kessler and Patrick Sharp on his first line. We got the nice Saskatoon Blades jerseys on, which actually look pretty nice. But we're going to get going in this game. Let's try to get some goals. Oh, beautiful setup. Uh, that was the Tyler Sagan, Patrick Sharp, and the Pat uh, Patrick Marlowe. Did I already say that? I don't even know, but the Tyler Sagan, Patrick Marlowe, and Patrick Sharp line. Sorry, I messed that up. But they, we do score a goal. Beautiful setup. And uh, Patrick Sharp makes no mistake. Just passing it down low to Sharp. Boom! Over. Yes, yes. Go, 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 go. To Lusty. Go. Double back in. Double back in. Yeah, there it is. Once again, another goal. To Lusty makes no mistake. You guys, if you haven't done the puck chop method yet, just puck chop it anytime you have it in your zone. If you have the chance, obviously. And uh, just try to see if it goes over the stick. If it does, you're going full blast into their zone. I should probably follow up a little bit on the puck chop method. Oh, another breakaway. Uh, is he going to come out? Oh, no. Too many moves. Way too many. Shoot. Oh, uh, come on. Come on. We still got the puck. Still got the puck. Mike Fisher probably shouldn't do a slap shot in front of the nets. Oh, that must be a stinger. But... Uh, if you want to do the puck chop, all you have to do is hold the right bumper and use the right stick. And uh, you just have to aim it up or wherever you're shooting it to. And he will do the puck chop. Once again, puck chop it out. That's a penalty. Go. Go, Kessel. Kessel's got it. He's going to deke. He's going to deke. Oh, what a save. Oh, what a play. No, that is just dirty. Don't even get me started with Phil Kessel. That was just a filthy move, filthy goal, and I think that's also the rage quit. 6-1 to one in shots. We won the game 3 to nothing. He cannot put up with our team already, but we're going to quit to the menu. We're going to raise that buy now minimum up to 12k, which also means another pack. It's going to be a pretty quick episode, guys, but first, I'm going to buy the pack here, and we'll see if we can get anything good. I'm not looking to for anything too special, I guess. We'll just open up the pack and see what we get. And so far, none of the packs have been too good anyways. So this pack we get... Uh, Paul Stastny might throw him onto the team somewhere. I used to like him a lot in NHL 14, but we'll have to see. Contracts, contracts, uh, some positionings and, and training. Don't exactly need those, so send all to my collection. And uh, we're going to now go ahead and buy that player. We're going to raise that buy now minimum all the way to 12,000. If we don't get a good player now, I don't know what will. Jesus Christ, 12,000. That is just absolutely crazy. That's like worth more than most players already in the game. And all these guys are going to be elite from now on unless someone accidentally put like a silver card or a bronze card up. 
for more than that. But anyways, we're gonna search up the sixth player. Let's see what we get. Come on, something good. I'm looking forward to this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Phil Kessel we already got before, so what I'm gonna do, how the how this rule works is we go into the next page and pretend it starts off at zero, and then we'll begin once again. So let's show more. And the sixth player on this page is one, two, three, four, five, six. Anze Kopitar fully boosted too for how many games? For 13 games. Pretty nice, someone already boosted him up, but I'm gonna pick him up and throw him onto the team. Alright guys, so I absolutely have no idea where I want to put in Anze Kopitar. Like, our team's already really well built, but I'm gonna throw him in, in the spot of Tolusti because he would be the play, he would be the one player that I would get rid of on this team uh, next up, because he hasn't really scored me too many goals, but still, he's a great penalty killer. But Anze Kopitar, 91 overall. I really do not know where to put him, so what I want you guys to post in the comments is where Anze Kopitar should be. I don't really want to move Boyle out of the first line, but you guys can maybe come up with some line suggestions where maybe Phil Kessel, Brian Boyle, and Anze Kopitar on the same line. I don't exactly know, but anyways, that is about it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and uh, please leave some more likes on this video. I really appreciate all the support, and thank you guys in advance so much. Alright, anyways, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. So uh, this is the first pack here, and we got a Stanley Cup card. Not the best one, but Broussard, 89 overall. I like that. A Brulee, uh, Cogliano, Golagoski. That is a sick first 